guys and welcome back to Learn Golf with Cassie Oops. Um, welcome back to another video and um, you might be wondering why I've got a hula hoop right here. It's because we're going to be using it to learn golf. Yes. So you know how last time we were working on, stop making noise, on pitching? This week we're going to do the same. So we're doing um, this pitching setup thing because I've been struggling with my pitching a little bit because I've been stopping like this and it's just going nowhere so I'm going to try and um, get myself to swing through and just really smash it out there. And so let's welcome Coach Dad, and he's going to explain in more detail what we're going to do today. Okay, so as Cassie said, when we're setting up, when we're pitching and we're trying to get control over the distance, it's a slightly different controlled swing. So we need to set up and put our weight a little bit to the left side. We're actually just tilting a little bit here and then going down to our setup. And that basically means, um, can you help me bring the camera a bit closer so you can watch this? We're starting here, and this is this is the bottom of our swing when we're standing up normally here. By tilting a little bit to the left, it brings our swing, the bottom of our swing ahead of the golf ball which means that we're actually hitting the ball first and the ball goes up the face and flies off and then we're hitting the grass the bottom of the swing ahead after the ball here so when we're standing up normally the bottom of the swing would be about here as we tilt our body a little bit left, it brings the swing a little bit forward. And so now we're hitting the ball first and we're bottoming out just ahead of the ball. So that gives us much better contact with the ball. And this was what Cassie did last time. So by setting up and tilting a tiny bit, just a little bit, it brings our swing, the bottom of our swing in front of the ball and we're brushing ahead of the ball. So when we get to the actual ball, we hit the ball first and it comes off and get a lot, lot of spin on there. If you hit behind the ball, then you're gonna get grass between the blades, you're gonna hit it um, fat and not get the same um, control. So Cassie did that last time. We're gonna watch how she's doing today and then I'm going to take you to the next part of the pitching, which is pivoting and turning on the left hip. Okay, back to Cassie. I'm going to do a couple of practice drills, getting a setup right. Here we go. Let's take a look down the line. Poor oh bird. I think I hit it. Right place. Good contact. You're just pulling your shoulders through and it's pulling them left. Okay, so we're going to take the next step. So Cassie 
has now moved the bottom of her arc a little bit to the left, so she's hitting the ball first and then brushing the grass after the ball and she was getting really good strikes and really good um, contact but the next stage is trying to make sure that we turn and pivot on the left hip so we're going to be swinging back and then as we get to the, the ball we turn and pivot round on the left hip Okay, when we were doing the full shot, we were letting the club go past our, our, our hands and past our body and pulling us round because we were trying to get as maximum club head speed and so we can get more distance. But um, when we're pitching, it's not about trying to get maximum club head speed, it's about getting controlled, consistent club head speed. So when we're doing a full shot, we transfer the weight left to right to get that extra power. But when we're doing a, a pitching shot, we're just trying to have a controlled swing, hit the ball, make it bottom out ahead of the ball, and then the arms and the hips turn together. So we're gonna be doing that today, but a, a nice little drill is, a very simple drill to be able to do is to we're not going to be moving our weight here, we're going to be keeping the weight on the left side because we've already set here and I just want you to step across the foot so you're going to just step over and to do that you have to pivot and turn on this left hip so really the swing is pivoting and turning so Cassie's going to do that a few times, she's just going to step and turn and put her foot over there and get that feeling. In fact, you can almost do it with one foot because we're really just pivoting on the one side. And that, when you hit the ball clean and it controlled, it flies out nicely and really spins and stops on a on a dime. Okay, Cassie, let's have a go. weight on the left, on the right side. You're staying over the left and you, as I say you can almost just put your foot here because you're turning and pivoting all on this side, on this left hip. So you're not going to go back into the right side. Tilt a tiny bit. So guys, what we're going to do right now what I'm going to do right now is that I'm going to take my right foot and I'm going to put it on the floor. Instead of putting it like this, I'm going to put it like this. So kind of like, um, like ballerinas do. Because um, when I, I, want real, I really want um, to turn through at the same time. And I don't, I need all my weight on my left leg and so that this, so that my hips can turn and so that I, I can get the best quality shots. Cassie played three shots there. She's got to try and get her balance when she's doing this. She's concentrating on the setup, which is good. Bending the hips. 
making sure she's brushing the grass ahead of the ball. So the, the arc, the bottom of the swing is a little bit ahead. The perfect one she did on the first swing, when she gets to here, the club, the arm and the pivot work together. And that's a very controlled swing. The one which she didn't do quite so well, the club goes past her hands and pulls around, which, which is what we do when we're doing the full shot, but this is a controlled shot. So we really just want And that's dead straight, landed exactly 60 yards and stopped really quick. So when we're playing the pitching shot, it's all about control and accuracy. And it's, it's a different feeling. When we're trying to get full power, we transfer our, we load up on the right and then we release. But with the pitch shot, it's a different, we want a different set of skills. So we're just trying to turn and pivot on this left side with the swing and the arms going at the same speed rather than okay so Cassie's going to practice a few more of those we're going to see how she's doing from down the line um, this is a little bit difficult to start with she's made some really good ones a couple she's caught a little bit thin but that feeling of getting the club and the body turning together is a little bit different from the full swing where we're trying to get maximum um, club head speed and it brings us round. Okay, so Cassie's going to have a few more practices now. So we turn it together. And the head has to turn as well. There we go, good. Whoops. I feel like that's an uncomfortable position. Okay, and again. Can I do it like that? Yeah, this should be back with your heel. Okay, go again. So that's something you can learn. No, turn on the hip, pivot on the hip. And hip, pivot. Beautiful. Oh, that was magnificent. We're not going for power, so you don't need to swing all the way back up to here, okay? We just a lot of our pictures will only be about the L shape. So you can just go L <coughs> to L. Okay? So get your posture. L to L. It's not about speed. It's about control. L to L. And this is true for everybody. When you're doing any short game shot, very rarely will you swing up to here for a short game shot. Because if you've only got 50, 60, 40 yards, your brain knows that that's way too much swing, and then you're going to stop. Okay? So, set up. L to L. Turn. If you guys learnt something, click the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already because you need to, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Wait, and if you haven't, um, if you don't know yet, we've had 30 videos. We only started in August, and it's now November. Yeah, so we're doing pretty well. Cassie. We're doing pretty well. Let's keep going.